guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video. In today's video, I am going to show you guys how I created three looks with the Kat Von D 10 year anniversary palette. So if you are interested in that, I suggest that you check out this video. <laughs> this is one of the looks that I did, by the way. Uh, obviously, this is the last look. I love gold and greens. Like, I'm not a gold person, so... I had to mix the gold with something and I choose the green shade. Also yesterday I did review this palette so obviously this is not a review this is just to show you guys how you can create some different looks and how or get show you guys some inspiration if you do have the palette but don't really know what to do. This is how the palette looks like. I do not know if this is still in stock because I am pre-recording so honestly I don't really know. Hopefully it is. I will leave a link to Kat Von D's website. Also, I reviewed the Kat Von D Metal Crush. Oh, it's hard. The Metal Crush highlight that looks like this. So if you do want to know what my thoughts are on these two products, because this is the only thing I bought from the collection, then I suggest that you check out yesterday's video. But if you're only interested in the tutorials, then let's just go ahead and watch them. But be sure to be subscribed if you are not, because I upload videos every single day. But let's just hop into the tutorials now. The first look I'm going to start off with is the shade Shad. And this is just a blue, rich blue shade. I used this in my first impression as well, but I wanted to see how it performed on its own. And that is why I didn't go in with any transition shade and so. So as you can see, I'm just tapping all of the shades in and then I'm just trying to blend it out and yes Sig is in the background he has gotten a candy he's chewing on it so I hope that everyone that loves him will enjoy <laughs> so that he is that he is in the background wow I cannot talk this shade is my all-time favorite like of the entire palette this and then the peachy shade is my two favorites. They are so beautiful. And this is in the shade Lefar. Lefar? I don't know. But oh, here you can see him. He's so cute. But he's a bit rude. Like, hello, chew with your mouth closed, please. Anyway, I didn't think that the shade performed as well as I wanted to, so I went in with some glitter glue, and then I went in with the shade again, and then I'm just going to do the same thing on my lower lash line. But I didn't like that green, like I, I took it to my inner corner, and I didn't like that, so when the look is finished, you will see that I have just put on some green um, highlighting shade of some sort. I thought that that was a little bit more cute. Nothing beats it when you call my name My love is deeper with every day You're a keeper, baby, worth the wait You got the sparkle in your eyes Making all the other guys stop and stare But you'll be moving on Baby, every time we touch It's my heart have been so, um, I don't know how to say, but I have been so tempted to do a peachy look. You know, I always go for the bright blue or bright pink and bright purples and some bright shades, but I have wanted to do a peachy look for a long time. So I'm really happy that I finally did one because I was craving it. So the first shade I went in with was the shade Ashley. And then I'm going to go in with the shade, let's see what this is called. Malice, 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 Malice. You know that I'm not the best at this. <laughs> but this red is interesting because when you see it in the pan, you think of it as a bright bold red. But now you can see that I have applied it. It's almost like a dirty red, a um, very bloody red, not like a blood red, but it's it's almost like a dirty red, I would call it. Like I have a hard time explaining this. And I forgot to mention that in my tutorial or in my review, I mean, so I thought that I would just mentioning it here. Uh, but I like it. It's very unique to my collection. I don't think I have any red that is like this. And I really appreciate it so that the shade is vegan. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Alexandra. And as I said in my review, this creased on me the first time I used it 
it but it did increase the second time so I think it was just I went in with a lot that day like you saw me I struggled a lot I, I took on some setting spray and then glitter glue and whatnot like I took so much and also it's super hot here so yeah but yeah that's all I'm gonna do for this look So my last look, I wasn't really sure on what I wanted to do because I still wanted to use a variety of shades in my tutorials. Now, I don't usually have to use every single shade, but I do want to use a variety. I didn't want to go in with a blue again and, you know, so I think I went in with the shade Edgar. I think so, like the uh, mustardy shade. No, this is called Egypt. I'm blind, <laughs> I'm blind, I thought it said Edgar, but no, this shade is called Egypt, and or Egypt, I don't know, but it's very, very beautiful, and I like to mix these kind of, now this is a yellow, but I do like to mix some peach shades or some yellow shades with green, I think that that is really beautiful. So this is the shade Lala, I wish that this was a little bit more true to the pan, it's very, very, military green but i still think it's a very pretty shade and as i said like a lot of these shades are so unique to my collection I am going to use the shade Leather again. What is this called? Leafar again. I cannot read. Uh, just because I am not all for the gold shades. You guys know this, but I still wanted to use gold in my tutorial, but I wanted to still have it a little bit more like me, a look that I would actually like to wear. So, you know, I love to mix greens and gold, so I thought that I would do that. So I did take the shade Egypt. Which shade did I say that I used before? I said that I used the shade Egypt, but no, I didn't. I used the shade Gina. I'm so sorry. The transition shade I was using was called Gina. I'm off today. Like, it's so hot here, and I have been out the entire day, and I'm kind of stressing editing this. So, sorry about that. Hope that you can forgive me. But yeah, that's all that I am going to do. I am doing the same thing on my lower lash line. And I am taking a bit of the highlight shade in my inner corner uh, because I wanted to include that as well. And I thought that this suited this look together with the gold and, you know, yes. But I really hope that you enjoyed my tutorial. Please give me a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye! I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip.